We're going to be reading from Psalm 34 today. This psalm was written by David at a time of his life when he was a little bit desperate. He had found out that King Saul was planning to kill him, and so he fled. The first place that he fled was to his wife. But his wife happened to be the daughter of King Saul, so that wasn't really a good long-term solution. The second place that he went to was Samuel, his mentor. But Samuel was elderly and couldn't possibly keep up with David on the run. And then he decided to go to his best friend, Jonathan. But Jonathan also was related to Saul. He was Saul's son. So he couldn't possibly stay with Jonathan for any period of time. So out of his desperation, he ended up in the city of Gath. Gath was essentially the capital city of the Philistines, and these were the enemies of the Israelites. While he was there, he acted a little insane, went to King Abimelech of uh, Gath, and then he got thrown out of the royal court. Abimelech said he's got enough crazy people around, didn't need one more. So then David was left on the run. But what had happened really was that God had delivered him from his enemies. This week in our Bible study, The Real God, we've learned about how God delivers us. And that's how he shows his goodness. Sometimes we don't realize that God is delivering us. But in this particular case, David knew for sure. And so he wrote Psalm 34. And even though that story itself isn't in the body of the psalm, the introduction does tell us about it. The introduction of Psalm 34 says, of David, when he pretended to be insane before Abimelech, who drove him away and he left. So we're gonna hear some of our church family read this psalm and think about the fact it's in two parts. The first 10 verses is really about David praising God and glorifying God for all that he did for him. And then the second part, verse 11 onwards, is really a sermon. David turns from praising God to telling people how they can learn from his experience and praise God also. So as you listen to the words of David, think about all the great things that God has done for you and continues to do for you and how many times God has delivered us without us even knowing sometimes. Enjoy the reading. Psalm 34 of David when he pretended to be insane before Abimelech who drove him away and he left. I will extol the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. I will glory in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all of my fears. Those who look to him are radiant. Their face is never covered with shame. This poor man called and the Lord heard him. He saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and he delivers them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you his saints, for those who fear him lack nothing. The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, my children, listen to me. I will teach you to fear the Lord. Whoever of you loves life and desires to see many good days, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking lies. Turn away from evil and do good. Search for peace and work to maintain it. The eyes of the Lord watch over those who do right. His ears are open to hear the cries for help. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil to blot out their name from the earth. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. The righteous purchase person faces many troubles, but the Lord comes to the rescue each time. He protects all his bones. Not one of them will be broken. Evil will slay the wicked. The foe of the righteous will be condemned. The Lord redeems his servants. No one will take refuge in him will be condemned. 